Hello, it's Persian Doll Tarot. I'm gonna do a reading for Aries. First, let me just ground my energy a little bit. One more, that felt good. Let's see what we have for you, Aries. Thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So you are ready, Aries. You're ready for something new. You're ready, you're getting like guidance from the divine to do something. It's up to you to take action. It's up to you whether you want to do something. You need to let go of something, though. It could be letting go of resentment. It could be emotional blockages. It could be letting go of a situation. It could be a job, a person. Choose a new direction, Aries. You are ready, and your life is up to you. It's up to you. You don't have to stay stuck. You don't have to stay stagnant. Sometimes you have to have it, uh, a new idea in your mind before it starts to come into your reality. Well, not sometimes, all the time. But you could choose a new direction in your mind and decide to let go of something. When you consistently focus on what you don't want, you can't allow something you do want to arrive. If you're in a bad job and you're stuck or in a bad relationship, you can't create a new one without making room so you have to let go what are you ready for comment below what directions are you choosing so abundance is coming there's something better for you let's get some more clarity on this specific card because i want to give you guys as much the whole point of this is for you to gain clarity heaven has something wonderful in mind for you however it's not the same thing you have planned Ask yourself, what would you rather have? The very thing you're asking for or something that would make you much happier and more fulfilled? Sometimes the divine has joys in store for us that we could never imagine on our own. Open your heart and mind to the possibility that you deserve even more than what you're asking for. Trust your angels to guide you in new and exciting directions. Don't stop believing, Aries. You need to believe. You need to have faith. You have to think positive. I'm getting you have to, you have to take the weeds out. You have to be very mindful of your thoughts, feelings, because your feelings are, are impressing your subconscious mind. That's why they say the feeling is the secret. Get more information. Ask for guidance. You know, meditate. Ask for a sign. Do something to get more information. Do your research. Take some time off to reflect on how you feel. You know, contemplate what do you want to do. The answer is yes. What is the yes for? What is the yes about? Spirit, give us more insight. Oh, look, meditation brings answers. Spirit wants you to meditate because you need clarity about something. This is looking really positive. Very beautiful. So now let's find out more details. I love it. Thank you so much, you guys, for so many beautiful positive and uplifting comments you guys were supporting one another i mean it was beautiful my last aries reading in the comment section thank you so much everyone for all of the support and the comments in my last aries reading it was so so nice and heartwarming find out more what what's this new direction what does aries need to let go of tell us more tell us more i'm getting that's enough shuffling you have a lack of faith and self-trust. Your intuition, you could be struggling with a decision. You could be feeling like you can't trust your intuition about something. You might be feeling a tiny bit discouraged or disconnected from yourself. Could even be, 
Ooh, celebration, joy, harmony, marriage, home. You're focusing on making a decision about maybe moving, marriage, home, but you're very happy. You're celebrating. Things are looking good. You're overcommitted. Yeah, you have a lot going on. You have a lack of balance, but that's why the Aries are very usually successful at what they do because they go very hard and they don't take as many breaks and they are very, they sprint to the finish line, you know? You have a lot of, you're very nurturing. You could have a water moon you're focusing on healing and your your comfort you're you're intuitive you could have a cancer pisces scorpio moon sign you're focusing on your financial you know wealth balance harmony giving receiving charity you want to be generous you want to give you have a lot more to give things are coming into balance you have some fears and anxiety. Some of you are dealing with depression, worry, trauma, nightmares, but you could just be having trouble sleeping. So it doesn't have to be that bad. Disharmony, misalignment. There's like a group conflict. You could be working alone and feeling disorganized. Just feeling like a lack of balance and harmony in your life. You could be working too much. You're preparing for something. There's an opportunity. Some of you are thinking about the progress you're going to make this year. You know, you're planning it in advance. You're focusing on expansion. Someone could have an overseas opportunity. Opportunity overseas. There's going to be an ending. Things are going to change and transform. Something about control. What is this death card about? What is this change? This transformation? The ending of what cycle? What is this death card about for Aries? I have to go all the way to find... Okay. This card flew so far. You have a new project. You're gonna, you have a strong urge to, and desire to start something new. Ooh. So you're, so you're experiencing the dark side of wealth, or you will. You're focusing on a new project that's going to bring you a lot of money, wealth, family. You know, you can contribute to your family, old money, family legacy. But the dark side of this is that the success could feel fleeting. You know, you could feel like you're, you're abusing your power. You're very aggressive about this pursuit, um, about this. You're taking action and you're so aggressive about it. You're very driven to succeed. You don't care about who, like, honestly, you're starting to become a savage Aries. Or maybe you already were a savage. But guess what? Because of, I mean, I'm getting you could have overcome so many challenges in your life that you had no choice but to become a savage. And you had to set strong boundaries. And that's going to bring you ten of cups. You being very disciplined on this new beginning, very ambitious, very aggressive, and even rude to people. Because you're not letting anyone or anything stop you. You're going to be happily ever after. You're going to experience true family contentment, love, and support. Have a new beginning. You're going to manifest your abundance, your dreams. This is divine love, harmony, bliss, happiness, fulfillment. All of your dreams are coming true, Aries. Don't let people tell you what to do because most people aren't living the life you want, right? They give you bad advice. Could be someone older, like a fire or water sign. Someone gives you bad advice. They're moody. They manipulate. Yeah, a lot of people do that. I mean, that could be anybody. It could even be that you're cold, you're moody. You, you should have more compassion for yourself. Someone could be focused, could be isolating themselves worrying about what they need thinking about the changes you're focused on lack I'm not sure why you're coming into a lot of money what did I just say your wishes are coming true content satisfaction emotional stability gratitude luxury I mean you see this man he's living he's so happy and content that he's overeating overindulging even he has so much he, he has so much more uh, free time because he's successful. He's so content. He's emotionally happy. What's the outcome for Aries? Self-worth. 
you're hustling. You might be a little obsessed with work and you might need to focus more on gaining balance and thinking about your home life, you know, family life. Sudden awareness, you're gonna choose happiness. You're gonna accept the situation. You realize that you had repressed emotions. You're trusting your intuition. You were, you might have uh, been lacking accountability in the past, but you're coming into justice, balance. Oh, a tower card. Something's gonna suddenly change and shock you. Give us some more details about the tower card. You might realize that you had a fear of the unknown, a fear of change, you were playing it safe. Balance, home, and responsibility. Relationships, partnerships, values, alignment, a choice. You could have a choice between two people or you could just be making a decision about personal goals. But I mean, it's a beautiful indicator of balance, home, love, union, a choice. It also means the choice, the strength of two people together. It's in the upright. You're gonna come into abundance using your power, strength, and control. You're gonna manifest. You're not gonna force anything. You're very focused right now and you're very strong. You're gaining courage very passionate. You could be releasing pain, forgiving and moving on, recovering from a situation. Could just be family members, honestly. Could be from past situations. What's the final outcome for Aries? Soul searching, introspection, being alone. You like, you need to meditate to find out some answers. You need to be more selfless. You need to integrate what you learn as well. Maybe you're a little too selfish, Aries. Okay, well, business, abundance, prosperity. So you're gonna come into money. You're gonna realize that maybe you need more balance and focus on family, community. Yeah, you're holding, you're carrying a lot of burdens, but you're manifestation is coming and it's going to happen. You're going to manifest something after all of this responsibility, hard work, you're going to complete it. You're, you were carrying a lot of burdens, but it's going to pay off Aries. Let's find out more. There's a thief in the family. Someone could be false person. It could be an Aries or someone born on the 8th. Could be a family member. Judication. Someone wants to take you to court. Maybe they want to take something from you. Something about community. But the community looks very happy. Main male courtship. That you're going to get a message and find out something. Okay, everyone. I feel called to pull some oracle cards for you guys. And I, for some reason, like, I'm always winning card games by picking randomly this way. So when I do the readings as well this way, it works very well. You're strong, you're bold, you're brave. And if you're not, then you should be. You're transforming. There's a snake here. Tr snakes symbolize either trickery or transformation, but usually transformation. Quiet your mind. You have too much going on. Forgive yourself. If you've made a mistake, learn and move on. I will love myself enough to do what's best for me. Happiness is a choice I make. Yes, it is, Aries. You're going to choose happiness. You will heal and move on from whatever it is you're going through. Pull another card from your tarot deck okay i like that pull a card from your tarot deck the three of wands you are deciding on your next move you're looking out into the horizon like what else do i want to do you're considering your options could be thinking about traveling you're thinking about your next move this is interesting enjoy the now um, I'm feeling called to tell you guys that one of the ways to get into alignment with your desires is to be focused on mindfulness. Instead of meditating, you could just be mindful throughout the day. I can embrace change. You are entering a time of happiness. I'm so happy for you. So tell us about this happiness for Aries. You don't have to fit in. You, you might be entering a new phase. Things are very different in your life and it's actually gonna make you really happy. The universe has a plan for you, Aries. You could be feeling called to do something and you know that it's the right move. Choose faith over fear, Aries. If you've been having any fears or doubts about anything, release it. It's okay for you to cry when you need to, Aries.